Talking horses, talking the Kentucky Derby with who else? Steve Cawthon, who not only won the, the Kentucky Derby, but the Triple Crown 15 years ago with Affirmed. How did you get the mount on Affirmed? Well, uh, it, it was, um, I was, I was very lucky. Angel Cordero and Lafitte Pinguide had both uh, won on the horse, and, and they were obviously offered the ride, but uh, they, for one reason or another, chose not to come. Uh, Lafitte had, was out in California. He chose not to come back to Saratoga to ride the horse, so uh, I was offered the mount. I was riding for Lansbury at the time, and he gave me the chance to, to ride this colt. And you kept it. Yeah. I and did. the more you rode the horse, did you feel like this was your ticket to Kentucky? Back to Kentucky? <laughs> Well, obviously, um, he won, I think, the race that uh, he first beat Aladar uh, was the, when I rode him, was the hopeful stakes. And I knew after that race that, uh, that both of these horses were nice horses, um, Aladar and Affirmed. And uh, the, the rivalry and uh, the supremacy over the other horses just continued to, you know, to grow and grow. But in the Kentucky Derby, many fail to realize that Alidar was favored over Affirmed, and it was a it was a pretty good race, but it was uh, not Alidar's best. Yeah, I think uh, a lot had to do with the fact uh, the Calumet Farm. Uh, he was a Kentucky bred horse. He, um, you know, he had uh, won a lot of races on the, the East Coast and in Florida, and he had won the Bluegrass Stakes. And I think a lot of the Kentuckians were favoring him. Uh, he was he was an exceptionally well bred horse. The Marquis owned him, you know, who, you know, from Kentucky, and. Uh, so you know, it was it was it was probably the one race where he really never got a blow in at Affirmed. He that day he was you know drawn on the outside and he broke a little slow. Took a long time to get in the race, but um, you know at the same time he was still you know making a big run down the stretch. Were you confident you were going to win the Kentucky Derby? I wasn't uh, confident. I was obviously very hopeful. I, I had a lot of confidence in the horse. I had confidence in myself because everybody in our stable, Laz Barrera, was great at, uh, you know, pumping me up. He was, you know, always telling me, don't worry, you can, it was, you know, you'll handle it, no problem. And uh, so I went into the race with a lot of confidence, and all I, the, the, I didn't really feel that much pressure. I was just glad to be in Kentucky on Derby Day, having a chance to ride in the race. And after the race, the one memory that comes out above all others? Well, I just think that uh, for a Kentuckian, there's nothing better to do than to, to win the Kentucky Derby and to have my whole family there all standing in the winner's enclosure after the race and cheering me on. It was, uh, a, you know, a moment of just sheer ecstasy. And uh, you never lost a Kentucky Derby, did you? No, I've only ridden in one. Uh, my uh, my record's clear, clear in 100%. <laughs> okay, talking horses, talking the Kentucky Derby with a guy who's batting a thousand, Steve Cost.